Yo guys, what's up, it's x -Series. welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. So, today what I have for you guys is more of a leak video, so it's not gonna be really any other tips videos or stuff like that that I've been doing the last few days, but uh, more of a leak. So we actually got a leaked map a few days ago uh, that was a 50 versus 50 map that was called Train Station. Now this was actually leaked in the Call of Duty Companion app, and so that was the first kind of map that was leaked, but after that, the gaming revolution actually went out and leaked a ton of different maps that are going to be coming to the game so i want to go through the list talk to you guys a little bit about it tell you guys about supposedly stuff that is being worked on and before we jump into the information if you guys are wondering who the hell the gaming revolution is this guy has been right about a ton of leaks when it comes to call of duty modern warfare so he's about as credible as it gets so right now he's probably the most credible leaker and he has released the most information and most if not all has come true so that's why i am reporting on this so if you enjoyed the video drop a like guys as always if you are new want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe let's jump into it so first of all it looks like call of duty and infinity ward is trying to figure out a way to get a 100 versus 100 mode going now this would be absolutely insane could you imagine if call of duty was actually able to pull this off but 100 versus 100 the plan would be the entirety of the spec ops map uh even the areas that are unaccessible right now in spec ops but apparently that's what the battle royale map currently looks like the layout of spec ops is what they currently see the battle royale looking like and so if they were to drop 100 versus 100 it would work perfectly on a map of that size apparently it is two to three times bigger than the blackout map so 100 versus 100 i could totally see that working out now, apparently at the moment it's very difficult for this to work because of the sheer number of people who would be playing on this massive map and apparently the servers are unable to handle it so maybe in the future they'll be able to do 100 versus 100 we'll definitely have to see but they currently have from what i heard or from what the gaming revolution says 152 people currently working on a map so we'll definitely see but 152 is still freaking crazy what is that like 75 or 76 player teams <laughs> that's actually mind-boggling so Anyways, let's go ahead and move on now to the next one. So we actually have a couple of ground war maps. So we already talked about train station and the 50 versus 50 that they did on there. They did say they wanted to do a 50 versus 50 mode, which totally work on maps about the size of, you know, that, that big downtown area. So the other maps that were apparently in the game code, and there's actually even images that were leaked. So these are legit, or we have farms. Now this one actually had a image leaked already, which is actually kind of crazy, but uh, farms is going to be obviously set in a farmland in a very cultural and harvesting area, fields and stuff like that. But apparently it's pretty huge. So that's a new ground war map the other one is dome tsk now this one apparently can be seen in the background of spec ops and i'll put an image on screen so you guys can check it out but apparently this is going to be a huge gigantic dome or uh, it's either dome or dome i can't remember which way he said it was but apparently it's set on an actual city so it might be a city within a dome i don't know but apparently also being worked on and this one is apparently a huge map it's like way bigger than anything that we've seen so far in call of duty modern warfare which is actually kind of crazy to think about all right so the next one is actually going to be uh, some maps that might be used uh, in multiplayer but also in the 2v2 gunfight mode because they're a little bit smaller some of these i will expect to be just mostly in multiplayer but we have rust so the original rust is going to be coming back now this one apparently is going to be in multiplayer and then also it's small enough to be a 2v2 map so we'll definitely see about that guy the next one is wet works so apparently they're planning on doing a remake of wet works now this remake is actually going to be way different it's actually going to be set inside of the ship as opposed to on the outside so as you guys know what works they've played it before cod 4 and it's been remade previously as well so what works is a map that we've seen before but it's always been set kind of like on the top part of the ship you know it's like the the area where all of the crew would be at whenever they're kind of working etc so the top ship area but now this remake apparently is going to be set in the inside of the actual ship which i think is actually kind of cool i kind of like that idea it's kind of you know paying homage to the other maps of Without actually just being a direct remix so i think that's actually pretty cool all right so the next one is actually called farada now this one i believe we saw a glimpse of this in the trailer from the campaign which is kind of like that little central plaza area we saw in the trailer the original reveal trailer so we might be seeing that guy that's probably just going to be a regular multiplayer map the next few ones that i'm going to be mentioning are maps that are already apparently 
in the battle royale map and could be getting separate releases as just smaller multiplayer maps and that would be boneyard crash scrapyard which actually scrapyard we already saw in one of the spec op missions which is actually kind of cool that they have a full remake of that already ready to go but then after that we do have broadcast vacant and then also backlot but only apparently the construction area so that might actually just be a 2v2 map because if it's only the construction area it'd be a lot smaller so we'll definitely see about that but all those apparently are already on the battle royale map they're currently working on and so i wouldn't be surprised if they transition some of those locations into full-on maps and i would be actually pretty happy because a lot of people are not really that happy with the map designs that we've gotten in call of duty modern warfare you know the no three lane map thing was kind of cool and it's nice to see some of these maps but they don't really have a lot of really good flow so i don't know if it's just that they need to work on the actual map design or if they need to work on the spawn system but you know a lot of people are not really feeling the maps is actually which is actually kind of sad so if they did bring some of these older style maps i feel like uh, and that would kind of help alleviate some of that weird camping situation and over camping that we have been seeing with call of duty modern warfare so hopefully that does help out but uh, anyways those are what's going on with those maps we might be seeing those all right so the next bit of ones is actually going to be maps that are probably going to be mostly for gunfight but again maybe they'll do a mode where you can play on those smaller maps but we have speed which is going to be a gunfight map we have exclusion which is also going to be a gunfight map now both of these also i believe had their images leaked as well the next one is actually shipment now this one is currently being called cargo as opposed to shipment and this one apparently will have a night and day variant which is actually kind of cool now this one apparently is being made as a gunfight map and apparently it's being called cargo instead of shipment because it's going to be slightly different from shipment where there's going to be a wall separating one area to the next so it's going to be way different i guess either way kind of cool and if they do that into a multiplayer map i think that would be a lot of fun and super hectic and crazy all right so the next two are going to be a couple of them that don't have maps that were leaked yet or i should say that are not images that were leaked yet that would be cage and also hook now the other thing that he did mention and this is not really multiplayer maps but he mentioned that there were over 20 missions that were ready to go for call of duty modern warfare at launch when it comes to spec ops so we're supposed to have 20 of those ready to go i believe at the moment they only have three of them and then you know within those three i think there's like some missions that you can do so apparently there was 20 of them that you could do there was like way more you could do on the actual spec ops map where you could go around walk around to different locations and just you know activate missions but apparently that got like super trimmed out and they decided that they were going to release the missions as free dlc over the coming weeks and months as opposed to having all of it at once so personally for that i say totally cool with that if they do that and it kind of extends the life of call of duty modern warfare where you know a lot more people are playing and they're more invested and they're more engaged then i'm totally cool with it you know same way with the maps if they decide to release all of these battle royale maps you know maybe once a month or whatever or two times a month i would be totally happy with that so i just want more stream more content coming and if they are able to do that and provide us with free content throughout the you know year and it doesn't feel like they like withheld stuff because it's free then i would be totally 100 happy i'm also really excited to see what the battle pass system is going to look like because if they have all this free dlc content coming then you know what is this bat battle pass going to look like so i'm really excited i'm totally cool with paying like 10 bucks for a battle pass that is also going to be rewarding you cod points as well they did mention that so i'm excited for that hopefully we get some pretty cool stuff in that battle pass and hopefully the dlc stream because there's a lot of dlc apparently a lot of maps and stuff coming hopefully it all comes rather quickly because if we have that many maps that are in the game code that already have images leaked and they're not coming out consistently then i think it's really going to hinder the amount of longevity and replayability that this game has so hopefully sooner rather than later we'll be getting these leaked maps but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video the question for today's video is actually going to be what mode are you guys playing the most currently are you really going through campaign are you doing multiplayer are you doing spec ops which of the three core three are you playing the most right now and then what are you doing within that if you're playing multiplayer are you mostly playing you know obviously like 2v2 gunfights are you playing mostly just regular multiplayer if you're playing spec ops are you doing mostly like the full-on missions or are you playing survival let me know what you guys are doing currently in call of duty modern warfare so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time drop a like on the video guys if you guys enjoyed it super appreciated incredibly helpful and if you want to see even more videos like these i'm gonna have a lot more call of duty modern warfare news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you subscribe have the notifications on so you don't miss a single video here in the future if you guys want to support the channel directly you guys 
guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and more. So check that out only if you are willing and able to. And then if you guys want to keep talking about anything or see what I'm up to, Twitter is the best place to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow over there at OGXRays. Link down below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.